Hi everyone, in today's video, we're gonna do a full screen replacement on this Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And man, this is a big, heavy phone, okay? All right, so this is gonna be the new screen right here that I'm gonna use. Just to show you guys real quick, I'm gonna replace the whole OLED display along with the metal piece. The guy did not, um, care that this is silver and this is going to be black he had absolutely doesn't care he wants his phone to work again and it's also i believe it's like 50 dollars cheaper just to buy it with the silver sides instead of the black side so silver i bought right that means more profit for you okay so this is uh the how much i'm going to charge in my store this Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra screen in the silver color, uh, it costs $235 for that. Um, I'm charging the guy $325. I normally charge $350 um, for this repair, but he was kind of starting to, like, he wanted to negotiate it a little bit. And since the Verizon store across the street sent them over, I was okay with that. But I said, can you pay cash for a discount? I gave him a $25 discount. So now I don't have to pay credit card fees on $350. I gave him a $25 discount. So the, I'm charging him $325. The screen actually cost me $235. So I'm gonna make out $90 in profit with this repair in cash, okay? I believe this repair is gonna take like 45 minutes or so. And one thing I noticed that this, the back cover is cracked. I swore I didn't, I've replaced many of these uh, phone screens right here, but I thought this was kind of plastic. So I have to be careful taking this out. I don't wanna damage it anymore. Um, okay, so let's go with this. So first things first is um, I'm gonna heat up the back glass and I'm gonna take off the uh, back cover of the, of the phone. The way I'm gonna do that is with the heat gun. All right, so then I'm gonna grab this little flimsy tool right here and I'm gonna get in here just like this. There you go. So I'm gonna heat up the rest of this part right here. And then I'm gonna grab poker playing cards. And I'm gonna go just like this. All right, finally got it off, right? So I was just being extra careful because I don't want to make these cracks any worse. And I didn't. Also, that's how it was. You guys see, that's how this looks. This goes like that. So you guys can see yourselves. So just be careful. I really thought this thing was made out of plastic, but I guess it's, it's made out of both. It's plastic on this side and it's probably some type of glass on this side. Okay, so let's put this aside. And there are a, a couple of uh, do not do's on this phone, so pay attention. And I'm gonna point that out when I'm repairing this phone. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take out a bunch of screws. We're gonna use a regular iPhone, I mean iPhone. We're gonna use a regular cell phone screwdriver. These little tiny ones that you see right here in the corner, don't take these out, just take, take them out for the plastic pieces that come out. All right, so now we got all these screws out. So as you pay attention, I did not take these two screws out. These are for the 5G antennas. I did the same thing right here. Verizon has 5G antennas right here, and I left these in. This is for a reception. So let's pop this out. So what we're gonna do is you see a connection up here, this piece, unplug this, 
unplug this and then this thing will peel out just like this. All right, uh, I have a customer calling me. Just give me one second. All right, so where were we? Uh, let's um, take this piece out right here. Here's one of the um, things I don't want you to do. You see this uh, SIM tray right here on the S22 or S21 Ultra? It's down here at the bottom. Don't go right here. Just go from the sides. You'll see why in just a second when I pluck this out. There you go. This is the uh, loudspeaker right here, as you can see. All right. So what te you tend to want to do is, let's say uh, this thing was right here. If you want to go in from right here, you could possibly damage these chips right here. I have not done it, but as you see, one, two, three, these contact points, it's easy to uh, knock those off or knock one of them off. So just stay away from that area, right? That area is down by the SIM tray slot that you can see right here. Okay, so let me grab the new screen and this is gonna be the game plan right here. This is the new screen, this is the old screen. The whole idea of this whole thing is we're just gonna take whatever you see from here and then just transfer it over into here, right? So let's start off with just, let's just unplug uh, some connections. Let's unplug, first let's unplug the battery, then we'll unplug the 5G antenna, then we'll unplug this, it's the power button I guess. Uh, unplug uh, the screen, unplug this cable. Why don't we just take this whole cable out, place it here. We'll might as well just unplug this thing right here. We'll put that right here. Uh, we'll unplug this right here and we'll take this plastic piece out. There we go. This thing is not even hard to take out. Okay, there we go. We'll place this over here. Uh, we'll unplug the uh, this thing right here, this like kind of reception antenna. We'll unplug the 5G antenna right here. And then we'll unplug this connection. There's a bunch of connections in this phone. This thing right here, unplug that. We'll unplug the front selfie camera right here. And then now we can take this motherboard out. Wow, that thing didn't even wasn't even hard to take out. There's no screws holding the motherboard down. We'll place that aside right here. Okay. So let's start off uh, transferring one thing at a time. So I'm gonna take this off, get this out of the way, get this out of the way. There we go. I'm going to start off with the uh, charging port area. And as you can see, there is one, two, three screws. Let's take that out. Remember, we're gonna do everything one at a time to make it as easy as possible. Now we're gonna get under with this little like tool, opening spudger, what you call it. I don't even know what it's called, nylon plastic spudger. Oh, we gotta take out the SIM tray first because this thing won't come out, hold on. All right, so I have the little SIM tray ejector tool. This thing is gonna pop out, put that there. Now the uh, charging port area can come out now. Just like that, see that piece right here? All right, so like I said, we're gonna go one by one. So this is now gonna go right in here. And then the three screws are going to get put in right here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna transfer the 5G antennas. There's one right here and there's one up here. So let's go one by one. So this thing has two screws. Let's take these out.
All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is blow a little bit of heat because uh, this has a little bit adhesive uh, inside of it. I'll just show you guys. And then we're going to take this out like this. Okay, this thing actually came out pretty easy, but as you see, there's some adhesive here a little bit, you see? Okay, so now we're just gonna transfer this over to right here. And then we're gonna put the two screws uh, right back in to screw down the uh, 5G antennas. All right, so we have this one transferred. Now we're gonna work with uh, this 5G antenna up here. Take out the screws, blow a little bit of heat. All right, and then we're gonna pop this antenna out. This one is a little bit harder. There you go. See, there's adhesive right there. All right, so now we're gonna put this transferred over to the new screen. There we go. Put the two screws back. The next thing we're gonna wanna do, and remember how I said earlier, uh, piece of broken glass. Remember how I said earlier there are, pay attention to the do not do's, right? So, a lot of the times when you buy these screens, it comes with a reception antenna, which is this piece right here. Do not use it. Only use the original antenna that the phone comes with. Because a lot of these screens, they're, they're for the European versions, so the reception is not gonna align up with the US versions, right? So use your US version parts. Or if you're watching this from another country like the UK, use whatever comes with your phone, okay? So we're gonna take out uh, these screws right here. And this screwdriver is gonna be a different type of screwdriver. The way that I take this out is with a uh, Y-tip screwdriver. It's basically, a, it's the one that I grab with a uh, um, I use with iPhones and when you take this out because I have done this before where one of these screws strip and I can't get the screw out anymore and then I got to get a drill and then just drill the screw out right so what you want to do is just lay this kind of flat and you put some pressure into it and then you twist and unscrew it so you don't strip the screw right let's see there's, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws we gotta take out. So I'll, I'll lean, or I'll put some pressure, I'll put some pressure down, and then I unscrew it, right? So there's one. So now this thing will come out like this. Let me show you guys. This thing will lift out. You see how this come, is coming out? Like this. You can probably jiggle it out, get this tool, go slide behind it a little bit. Actually, let me blow some heat. There we go. Here it is. Remember, once again, use the part that comes with the phone sometimes these screens come with their own antenna don't use the one that comes with the screen your reception will most likely not work anymore use the original part and now we come and we're gonna place this right here like that 
And now we're gonna put the screws back right here. All right, so we have uh, the reception antenna uh, plugged in, 5G antennas plugged in. What else do we uh, have to transfer? The battery and the front selfie camera. And another thing, if you're in the US, sometimes these uh, phones or screens come with a new camera only use the original one that comes with the phone or your front selfie camera will not work anymore it will just be like a black screen okay so we're going to transfer this over and as you can see there's kind of like this silicone that runs around it so we're going to break through the silicone and then this thing will come out and the way that i do that is with tweezers all that i do is just go on the side right here Break the silicone. All right, now it came out. And when I say the silicone, you can see this thing right here on the sides. See that? That's the silicone piece. It's basically, it's, uh, you don't need this little blue thing right here. This uh, other one comes with this little plastic piece. I'll just take the whole thing out. There we go. All right, so there's a front selfie camera right here. You guys see? Just don't puncture your actual uh, camera uh, with your tweezers. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is take out the battery. Now this battery is like glued in here, like really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat uh, the underside of this to kind of make it warm. And then I'm gonna put some alcohol right here on the sides with this thing right here. So remember, don't put alcohol here and then use this heat gun, right? It's a fire hazard. So I'll use the heat first and then I'll use the alcohol. All right, so no more heat gun usage after this point. Use alcohol like this, drip some in here, right here. Grab our little tool, go on the side right here, and then just pluck up. There we go, it's starting to come up the battery a little bit, so I'm gonna grab some more alcohol and squirt it in there. The alcohol eats up the adhesive. There we go, it's, the battery's coming out. So you guys see? There it is. That's how it comes out in real time. There's the battery. I want you guys to look at this. Nice and flat. Nice and flat, right? All right, let me uh, dry this off. Get my rag and just dry this off. You could even blow air on it with your mouth. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna place the motherboard in here. Okay, before I get there, is there anything else that we need to transfer? I mean, this thing already has its own um, uh, vibration motor we can just use the one that it came with everything else is already transferred out over so this we don't need anymore so let's just put this aside let's focus on this one now we're gonna put the motherboard back into this just like that pops in easily let's plug in the connections right here one two Three. Uh, let's get the front selfie camera. Plug that in right there. Make sure it's 
properly plugged in. You don't want people to come back or do any callbacks. Oh, let's, uh, we gotta place the battery in here. This thing needs tape, hold on. All right, so I have my red tape right here. All right, let's put the battery in now. All right, here's the battery. Plop that in there. All right, um, plug in the screen. We'll plug these in now. Uh, plug this thing in right here. Now we're gonna plug in these connections right here. Plug this in. Plug the little small one in. All right, and then plug the battery in. All right, so let's uh, double check. All the connections are plugged in. Feel it with your nail, feel it, feel it, feel it. Feel it down here, feel it, feel all the connections. You don't want comebacks or callbacks that say something is not working or something like that. Go like here. Okay, everything's in. So what we're gonna wanna do now is, uh, we'll start at the bottom, loudspeaker part, and then we'll put in the screws that go along with it. All right, so we're gonna plug this thing in right here. And then there's two connections that come along with this. So it's that one and then this one. There it is, those two are plugged in. And then we're gonna get this thing. And this also has two plugins right here, that one and that one, right? This is a piece of tape or something. All right, let's go plug this here. All right, all the screws are back in. Let's plug this thing. In. All right, so now we have the back cover that's left. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Adhesive, all right, so as you guys know, here is S21 Ultra Adhesive for the back cover, like that. It's made specifically for this phone. As you guys see, the back cover, you see how it aligns just like with it, with the camera, with the camera lens and everything? Just like that, see? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this and I'm just gonna remove the old adhesive and then do this. I'm gonna be careful because I know there's, these, there's cracks right here. All right, so now we can uh, apply or install this adhesive. Start off with a corner.
All right, now we're gonna put this here. Align this. Pop the SIM tray back in. Turn the phone on. All right, so I wanna show you guys something. This screen already has a screen protector installed on it. As you can see right here, you guys see, let's see if I can focus on this real quick. There you go. That's where you can see the screen protector. See it? The screen protector is already installed on it perfectly. You can see it down here too, see in the glare? There's already a screen protector already installed that comes with the screen. There's the reception, Verizon, everything is good to go. And that everybody is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra screen replacement. So this repair took me 48 minutes. That's how much uh, the clock says right here that this, of course, I'm not gonna show you a 48 minute video. Hopefully I'll get this video down for like 15 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, 48 minutes. Uh, I'm making how much? Here it is. I'm making $90 in, $90 in 45 minutes. And uh, I, that's after I gave him a $25 discount. So if I wasn't discounting this and I would add in my $25 discount that I gave this guy, it would have been $115. All right, so if any of you guys are interested in learning more about cell phone repair, I am the owner of San Diego Cell Phone Repair. I have been in business in this location for eight and a half years. Go ahead and look me up. Look me up on Google. Type in San Diego Cell Phone Repair. It'll pop up. If you guys wanna learn how to make money the way I make money uh, repairing phones, Look in the description underneath the video. I do have a cell phone repair course that I would like to share with you guys. That's it for this S21 Ultra screen repair. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.